Good morning. So today I've got three tips to help you ask for a pay raise effectively. And that is to know your value, to schedule a meeting, and to be patient. Now what do these mean? So to know your value, you know the value you bring to your organization. And if you're going above and beyond, if you're doing more work than what your job description has for you, you may be able to equate that with a certain amount of pay. Now make sure you do your research when it comes to this. When I say know your value, I'm saying you need to get specific on how much you're going to ask for. Because you want to go into a meeting with your boss or whoever decides uh, how much you get paid and really give them a specific and plausible ask. Right? You don't want to be vague about your request. And knowing your value and knowing exactly how much you're going to ask for is important. It's also important because you're going to have thought through the process. It's going to enable you to be a little bit more assertive. Again, you don't want to be aggressive, but you want, definitely want to be assertive in advocating for yourself. Now, this is something that is particularly difficult, I think, for uh, those who've left the military and are now transitioning into the private sector because there's not much negotiating for pay when it comes to the military. But I'll talk about that in a little bit more detail later. The point being, you need to advocate for yourself, and you can do that if you really know how much you need to ask for. The second thing is you want to schedule a meeting. You want to be specific and focus on the positive when you schedule a meeting. You want to say, hey, you know, you want to talk about career growth or career advancement. You're not just there to ask for more money. You want to show or demonstrate the value that you're bringing. Uh, and then also, you want to be patient. And the reason why you want to be patient is because, first off, your boss may not necessarily be the one who decides whether or not you get a raise. Uh, so they can't say yes or no right up front. But also, they may initially say no, but remember, you're putting it on their radar. You're putting it on their mind. If you are valuable to the organization, even if they say no initial, initially or I have to think about it, they're going to give it consideration, and it may take them a little bit of time to think about it. Don't be pushy about it. Just state your case and let it marinate for a while because if you're worth what you feel you are, and you probably are, Letting your boss know about it or letting the decision maker, maker know about it and letting them sit with it for a while is going to be a lot stronger advocate for you than you constantly bringing it up. So keep this in mind. You want to know your value, be specific about it, think through it, schedule a meeting, and be patient. Now this applies primarily to the private sector. Obviously for those of watching uh, my videos who are military, in the military, we don't really negotiate for pay, but you can still do things. You can still use these principles in order to increase your income, right? For instance, you can request to go on a uh, temporary additional duty trip uh, or TDY, as they say in the Army and the Air Force. Uh, so you want to make sure that you can position yourself to say, hey, I'm, I am the best for this job or for this temporary duty, uh, which would in, uh, in many cases involve additional pay. You can also ask for greater responsibility, right? You can ask for a qualification or a designation in your particular job or skill set. And that might set you up well for promotion, which entails a pay raise. So make sure that you're advocating to your superiors why you feel you deserve this or why you feel you would be a good ad when it comes to a certain qualification in your job. And if you do that, you're more likely to get it, right? You're looking uh, at it from the perspective of team success and mission accomplishment. Please post a question or a comment. Send me a private message if you want to talk about it privately. I always enjoy reading your comments. And until next time, I wish you unlimited success.